It's commonly called writer's or musician's cramp, but it's a condition that's poorly recognised and difficult to treat. A South Australian researcher is hoping to change that as she embarks on a unique study using magnetic brain stimulation. Erin Mackenzie Christensen is one of 20,000 Australians who are believed to suffer from dystonia. It affects everything from speech to being able to stand up and walk to, um, you know, I need help with personal care and cooking and cleaning at home. The neurological disorder causes involuntary spasms or twisting. When isolated to the hands, it can often affect musicians or writers because of their repetitive fine finger movement. People with Parkinson's disease or those who've had a stroke can also suffer the debilitating disorder. Unfortunately, there's not very many known treatments. Some people are able to take medications um, and stuff like that, but for me, none of them have worked so far. But that could be about to change. A new study will soon begin in Adelaide involving non-invasive brain stimulation, thanks to a $40,000 Brain Foundation grant. Dr Lindley Bradnam says unlike other studies overseas, her study will focus on a different part of the brain. I'm going to be stimulating over the cerebellum, which is an area at the base of the brain that's very important for controlling movement, uh, for coordinating movements and um, initiating and planning movements. The study will involve three different types of treatments and it's hoped patients will notice an immediate change to their hand function. And if we can see a change just in a one-off acute session like that, then we're fairly confident if we then applied that in a future study where we repeated those doses, then we would get a more ongoing effect. Fifteen participants are needed here at the Repat Hospital for the pilot study, which is due to begin in the new year. It's then hoped there'll be some results within a few months. Emma Rebellato, ABC News, Adelaide.